All right, we are going to compare the Ergodox Easy and the Kinesis Advantage 2. So I started off with this keyboard um, and then I used it for a while, I loved it, uh, but the grass is always greener, so I thought, um, and I eventually ended up buying this thing and I'm going to make a detailed comparison because I've used both of them extensively. Um, and yeah, first of all, just a preface, um, if you're in this weird niche a community of like, I don't know what you'd call us, keyboard enthusiasts or something, um, you know, that's totally fine. I mean, I don't necessarily enjoy this. I mean, it's people that see it probably as a hobby, but first of all, I do this for, first I thought I did it for typing speed and yes, my typing speed actually did go up when I started using it like a customized keyboard and my thumbs were more, were more utilized and so on. My typing speed went up, yes. Um, but mainly I realized uh, a far better reason to do this, I realized was comfort. Like just the comfort, you know, you spend thousands of hours at a uh, keyboard, uh, let's say you, you're a programmer like myself, or you just, you're anyone, you uh, have an office job, you wanna be comfortable, you wanna be comfortable. I mean, I have pads right here for my mouse. Um, this thing has pads, I just don't have them. Um, so yeah, it's about comfort. Um, and then the less you have to move your wrist if your thumbs are utilized and um, you don't have to figure out control shift, whereas whatever, you know, you have your key bindings and your hot keys under control and you know, you move your wrist less and all these like little micro movements. If you can just reduce these micro movements, things are just more comfortable. And when you're comfortable, you can just focus on your work more. So I guess that does in turn maybe make you more productive, but yeah, so it is about efficiency, but for me, it's more about comfort. Um, and so I'm going to be discussing that, uh, the comfort aspect of these two. Um, but Anyways, there is uh, three points I really want to uh, highlight here, and that is um, thumb clusters. So first of all, why are these two com keyboards even uh, comparable at all? Because, you know, I could compare any of these keys, uh, keyboards. Well, look, duh, you know, if you're watching this, you realize that the thumb clusters are exactly the same. Um, they're, they're, what, ortholinear, so they're straight up and down. Um, and pretty much the other, the keys are like very similar. The keys, keys are very similar. The uh, learning curve was like, slim to none like i i learned this thing it took me weeks to learn this thing from a regular keyboard to learn this thing it took me weeks to learn this thing it took me like no time at all because the keys are almost exactly the same uh so you can go from each one very easily um that's something i learned but the thing immediately that i that i learned was the thumb clusters again i'm trying to uh, focus on the thumb clusters here the thumb clusters look closely just look at my thumb look where it can rest this is a resting position of my wrist i'm not moving my wrist at all yet i have access to five out of six keys this other key i can press a little bit but more than likely i'd have to kind of move my wrist so on a resting position i have access to in a resting position i have access to five out of six keys now on this thing if you look i mean i would be slightly higher with the wrist pad but i have access to comfortably three i mean if i i can kind of reach I would have to realistically reach here and there. So I have access to three. Here is a real stretch. So I have access to one out of, excuse me, three out of six keys. Here I have access to five out of six keys. That's a huge, that's like the biggest thing because I use these thumbs. They're like the most utilized keys for me, uh, according to my, my hotkeys, all my customized stuff. Like these I use all the time. Therefore, I want to have access to them because, again, it's about comfort, right? So I want to have as little movements as possible of my wrist. That's a lot of effort, little micro movements. So if I have access to five out of six, that's the, the biggest thing. Like, that's the biggest thing for me. If it wasn't for that, I would probably choose this thing uh, for these other reasons I'm going to highlight. But the thumb clusters, the accessibility, that's all. Um, now... The second thing I want to highlight, I have these pulled up, the uh, software to remap the keys. All right, th this is a big difference because they're they're very uh, they're very different. Um, so on the Ergodox Easy, you have the Oryx. Uh, it's on configure.zsa.io. I'll link that in the description. But they have a web-based, cloud-based uh, thing. You have to go on their website. You have to create an account. It was it was pretty easy for me. I think they may have asked for an email, but it was pretty easy. Um, you just have to make an account, and then you store your setups and your layouts um, in the cloud in this website. And the process it was also very nice. Their their GUI, their, their graphical user interface was great. It was very intuitive, easy to easy to use. Um, and the process uh, for for doing anything is you go in, you edit it. And then you have to re-download a file every time that you want to 
Even if you just want to like remap one key, there's no quick way to just remap one key. You have to actually go on here and download a whole other file and then have an open another software. Or I guess this is just a website, so you don't have to download any software for that. But you do have to download Wally. I don't have that on this computer, but you have to download this software called Wally, and then it will ask you, um, you know, just to to use that file, and then it'll kind of like re-download the file, re-download these uh, the setup the the mappings every time you have to actually go in and press this little there's a little i have a needle usually you could use probably a paper clip that would be easier but there's a reset button here so the process is go on the website edit your stuff download the file open up wally -E, and then like reset your thing and then kind of re-download it that'll reset your key mappings to your new uh your new preference there okay so that's the process for the the ergo docs the process for the kinesis is a little bit different and i i think it's a little easier because first of all well it's not web-based it's not cloud-based it's there's a storage device like however many kilobytes like the computer actually recognizes it when you plug in the keyboard to use normally they recognizes it as a usb drive and you will actually just i i edit a txt file on this i'm using linux right now and it does not support linux by the way very well you can maybe make some some uh workarounds but it this doesn't work on linux too well and so for me i couldn't figure out a way just to get the kinesis smart style app or whatever it's called so but you can i think maybe go into the txt file that this is what i do normally in windows i just go in and even do it manually i just prefer to go into a text file and make my my key mappings uh manually uh, as opposed to their, their their gui was okay uh the graphical user interface was better on this one uh for, i can't show you it here i'm using linux but it was decent but not quite as good as the uh, oryx so anyways uh also the process of like okay i just want to remap one key to another or make a very simple change if i remember there's if you look there's like remap program remap it's just like program remap press the key that you want press the key that you other want to remap and it's very simple to make quick adjustments on the fly on this thing to make quick adjustments on the fly on this thing is impossible like i said you have to go on in the website and download the file and open up wally -E, and then do all these things to to make that change you have to re-download the whole file on this one it's easier to make those quick on the fly changes because there's there's buttons and and things to do that it's all like consolidated on the computer itself it's not web cloud based it's it's all just here and it has those the key bindings by default to remap things although of course if you want to make detailed adjustments obviously you can either either open up the qwerty.txt text file um and then make the changes either manually or use the their software to do that so anyways, that's the second uh, highlight, um, which was the software. And the third is going to be just comfort. Again, I kind of highlighted this or it, uh, well, not exactly, um, comfort. So where are your wrists sitting, right? This one has, it has pads. I don't have them currently. So really I, they would be about the same, you know, as far as comfort, except when you consider comfort, you have to consider where is my wrist moving. So this kind of goes with the whole thumb cluster thing, but overall I've just found the the kinesis to be much more comfortable uh, because one, you don't have to move around. And this is kind of goes with convenience too, but okay, imagine you have this thing and you used it long-term, you'd obviously want to use these pads. That's four pieces, right? Two, one, two, three, four. That's a lot of pieces I have to move around and, you know, like I can move it around and customize it. Like where do I want in my setup? So that's nice, but it's kind of like a lot of stuff to move around. As far as this thing, you know, the left side, left side, right side, right side of the pads, and then the, the keys, like it's all just one piece. So there's a convenience part of that where it's just easier to have one piece, right? Um, of course, with this thing, uh, as far as convenience, well, it's smaller, look, right? The fact that it's flat makes it uh, very thin, right? You can just go like this wrap up this thing in it and then just kind of have one piece now if you have the pads you have to have those separately but it is very nice like and you kind of can collapse them and it's very small right it's very small as convenient uh for this thing it's you know the fact that it's concaved right that's why you can access the keys more easily by the way is because it just re rests on your hand easier and you have access to more stuff the fact that it's concaved right uh and because it's concaved of course it has to be deeper and so that's why it, there's a size difference, right? So you're just making a trade off of, um, I guess, okay, you're making it bigger, but you're making it more comfortable and more accessible because it's concaved. With this thing, you are making it uh, thinner and not concaved and flat, right? With the cost of 
well, it's not concave, therefore it's you're gonna have, you know, you have to move your wrists a little more and reach them a little more uh, and move your hand a little more than you would have liked. Uh, so it's just a, it's just a trade-off. There's not one that's better than the other. Um, these are really equal keyboards. It's just do you want to make the the choice of of size, right? This thing is smaller. You can fit it around. If you travel a lot, you're gonna want to consider this thing. If you don't travel a lot and you don't care about the size difference, uh, I'd probably choose this thing. Um, if you have a preference for the the software that's used, if you want a web-based thing, um, play around with Orinx. So maybe you can access it without buying the keyboard. I think you can. You know, play around with that and um, just look into if that's a factor for you. Uh, so yeah, so I kind of highlighted these three things. Thumb clusters, way better on here. General comfort, better on here. Um, for the software, I'd say they're about equal. Um, they both have their pros and cons as far as software. So that's probably preference. Size, this one's smaller. Um, this is bigger, but again, that trade-off of it's concave, therefore it has to be deeper. Uh, so you're just making the simple trade-off. So there goes my review. And um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, um, I can pop, perhaps do another uh, review uh, and maybe do a typing test or do whatever um, if it gets um, enough views. Also, I'm going to sell this thing on eBay because, again, I've decided on the Kinesis Advantage too. If you want to buy this thing, let me know. I'll maybe link my eBay in the description. So thanks for watching. Bye.